Are you listening? Hey y'all, it's Cameron the K and I'm coming to you guys with another video. So today's video is going to be an update on this unit I have on my head and I'm actually going to show you guys how I got this really cute style. I think it's perfect for the summer, you guys. Y'all know I love me some color. Got my ZR30, so it's popping. And also before I jump into the video, this makeup look I have right here, I do have a video on it. So make sure you check down the description box below or I should put it in the little information thing. If I figure out how to do that, it will be there. But if not, it will be down in the description box below. So, um, yeah, I just did like a pinky kind of summery makeup look to go with this hair because I figured it would just be perfect. Like this color is just like, I love this hair color. If you know, you know, okay? So before I, um, so before I give an update on this wig I have in my head, first I'm going to show you guys how I styled it. So this unit is from Altre. Her name is Antonia. I have her in the color DR30. This is what, um, the packaging, like, um, card thing looks like. I can't think of the proper name, but y'all see what I'm saying? So I just put it in this really cute style. Without further ado, let me go ahead and insert the clip of me styling this unit. Hey, so here's the wig just out and it's fluffy beautifulness. I will say I wish the wig was um, dark rooted throughout the entire unit. As you saw on the back, it is strictly just the DR30, but it's still really cute. I ended up making it work, but like I said, if it was dark rooted throughout the whole unit, y'all, okay, the slay would really be slaying, okay? The slay would really be occurring. Y'all see what I'm trying to say. But anyways, yeah, so as I did, I just took any rubber band. I actually had to use a headband and just I just doubled it up to make it a rubber band. That's what I had right there. So that's what I did. And I just pulled all the hair to the top. Here I'm pulling some pieces back down to kind of cover up the back of the wig. But I'm being careful because there are like, you will be able to see the tracks if you aren't care careful enough. If you see right here, you see the little dark area at the very bottom. Not my little edges in the back. Not the kitchen, not the kitchen. The other piece. Anyway, I'm gonna end up. I'm going to end up covering it, so don't worry. I ended up getting a mirror and looking um the back of my head to cover it up. Like once I was like finished doing this, but at that time I couldn't see it. But here, this is like a major key on the side, y'all. You see, I'm just like lightly like pulling. You kind of want to make it look like frizzy right there on the side, so it doesn't look like there's a wig. It kind of makes it look a little bit more natural. And I'm also going to pull a few pieces down in that area so that it kind of covers up that little line where you see where the wig ends and your hairline begins okay so yeah i'm pretty much just now here i'm grabbing pieces putting some behind my ear to kind of cover up that area and you just want to kind of like i said tweak it to get it how you like it and yeah that's it really really <laughs> I mean, literally, that's why I love curly units because you can pretty much do anything to it and it's going to look natural and you can kind of blend it out on the sides. If y'all haven't noticed, I literally do this gently to like every unit when I have, when I'm trying to like blend it or something and it literally is the key for me. Um, if in doubt, you can add a little bit of mascara and you're on your hair to make it blend even better. Like up here, let me see, I need to pull out a few more pieces of hair. But you kind of just keep tweaking it to get it how you like it. Like I just keep pulling around. I still keep kind of pulling pieces down, pulling pieces up to kind of get it in the perfect style that frames your face. I just think this is super, super cute, you guys. It's getting hot here in the south. So y'all, I just want to put my hair up, but I still want it to be cute and girly. And I just love this color. Like, bruh, okay. It's super cute. Let me back up so you guys can see the whole hairstyle. But I really think it's super cute. Um, I'll probably add a few more bobby pins as I... You know, just add bobby pins as needed, clip up hair as you need, and things of that nature. So, yeah, as far as the update on the unit, you guys, I absolutely love this unit still. I still love this unit. I haven't had any problems. It does shed a little bit, but it's not excessive. It does shed, though. I will say that. Um, As far as tangles, I'm not really getting that many tangles, but I'm also not really going to, um like, brush out the curls or anything. I'm kind of just letting them kind of go through their course because like the more I style the unit and things of that nature the curls do um kind of frizz and drop but that doesn't bother me I think for this especially for this this look it's like a messy bun kind of thing I don't want the curls to be perfect so as you see I have kind of like separated a lot of the curls and yeah when I'm separating as you see like right there I really didn't get any tangles but the hair does tangle a little bit see there was a little tangle right there so yeah you will get some tangling but it's not um crazy excessive but yeah i'm just really loving this unit i just love this color you guys it's literally perfect for the summer like literally perfect as you see i'm still kind of tweaking the style 
I might add some more pieces up to the top. Yeah, you just keep tweaking it, get it how you like it, you know? I think it's cute. What do you guys think? So yeah, this is an update on this unit. I can't remember what affordable wig series number this was, but I will insert the original video down in the description box down below so you guys can check that out. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed and leave me some comments down below. And overall, I do recommend this wig. This is also another really good unit for a new beginner if you like the kind of like frizzy, curly look. At first, when you get the curls, as you will see in the original video that I will link, it, they are a little bit more defined than they are like after you style it and kind of mess around with it a little bit. But besides that, I really have any problems. And as far as washing wigs, I really don't wash my synthetic wigs. I might try to just so I can do a video for you guys. But honestly, I use dry shampoo. I use um, the Talia Wajid. Wajid, I hope I'm saying that right. That um, dry shampoo for protective styles from the protective style line. Or I use um, suave dry shampoo. So it just kind of depends on which one I have on hand. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I love this unit. I really, really do. Super cute. Um, there's so many things you can do with this unit. I wish it was a little bit longer, um, but besides that, I love it. So definitely check it out if you haven't. I'm rambling on and on. I was going to make this video super quick, but y'all know I like to talk. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Later.